That's quite the mess they'll be dealing with in uh, that situation. We have a whole different type of situation here. It has to do with the weather, and uh, it's going to be messy around here. I mean, it really depends on where you live, though, right, and what kind of precipitation type we're getting. Yeah, for our area, we're going to start off with rain, and it's going to come down heavy at times tonight okay. and into tomorrow morning, but we do eventually expect to see a change over to heavy, wet snow. All right. And some accumulations in the forecast highest amounts north and west of Providence. Right now we're in the East Providence area from our Kettle Point Cameron. You can still see a little bit of glimmers of color here. A cloudy morning underway with eventually some rain showers pushing in, but we're not expecting any significant weather impacts for today. Tonight rain intensity will increase. We'll see the risk of some street flooding. Winds will be picking up as well. And tomorrow and tomorrow night just kind of stormy stretch here. Heavy rain to some heavy wet snow accumulations by late day and evening and some stronger wind gusts expected during the day Tuesday. The strongest of them will be over eastern Massachusetts. I'm going to show you those details in a moment. Right now we're in the middle 30s for most of the area stepping outside with light winds out of the east and northeast this morning. Live radar looking a little more active than it actually is. A couple of sprinkles and flurries may sneak in here this morning. Better chance for some showers later in the afternoon and especially this evening. So we've got this area of low pressure developing off the Carolina coastline. That low going to strengthen as it lifts north and east and then it does a loop around eastern New England. So a lot of questions as far as how far east does it get before it starts to back towards us? How far west does that loop take it? And that's going to determine when we make that switch over from heavy rain to heavy snow. The highest accumulation that could get over a foot of snow in the Worcester Hills, the Berkshires, up into parts of northern New England, with areas south and east seeing less in the way of snowfall accumulations, but still could be significant, especially factoring in the wind. So 11 o'clock this morning, mostly just cloudy skies, upper 30s to lower 40s, heading to the middle 40s this afternoon. Notice by 5 o'clock in the evening that rain starting to close in, so rainfall likely the later this evening and tonight, and some heavy downpours too. Temperatures overnight dropping only to the upper 30s to lower 40s, so we are tracking rainfall, and then tomorrow during the day that rain will start to change over to snowfall as the temperatures begin to fall, so we're looking at lower to middle 30s in the evening and early part of the night. This is 11 o'clock, so likely to get some accumulations from this. Uh, how much? Again, going to be dependent on exactly how things shake out when that storm tries to do that loop over the eastern Massachusetts area. Right now, northwest Rhode Island stands to see the highest accumulations locally. Could get over six inches of heavy wet snowfall. Providence area, Kent County, uh, northern Bristol County, Mass, as much as uh, as little as three inches of snow and on the high end could get as much as six inches of snow closer to south and eastern areas, Fall River, New Bedford, um, down through North Kingstown, South Kingstown, maybe one to as much as three inches of snowfall. Winds, strongest eastern mass, where we can see 55 to 65 mile an hour gusts along the coastline. You combine that in places like Boston with the heavy wet snow, we're going to be prone to some wind damage and power outages. But even in Worcester, 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts with a foot, foot and a half of snow up there could bring some significant outages. For our area, looking at more potential for some isolated outages. So 45 today, 39 in the morning tomorrow, then dropping temperatures in the afternoon around 40 for your high on Wednesday. Snow showers in the morning will be tapering off and we're looking at sunshine and near 50 for Thursday and Friday.